China's biggest private developer, Country Garden, has warned of a possible default on its international debt, which could seriously hit China's already struggling real estate sector. This information is published by the Financial Times. The company, which has $200 billion in liabilities and also has about $10 billion in dollar debt, said it had missed a 470 million Hong Kong dollars, $60 million, payment on some of its debt. Country Garden also admitted that it may not be able to meet all of its payment obligations when they come due. This may result in the group's creditors demanding immediate repayment of the debt owed to them or taking enforcement action, the company said. The statement also notes the sudden deterioration in the financial condition of Country Garden, which already this year went through a general crisis in the real estate market, after the default of its competitor Evergrande in 2021. The potential default deepens general anxiety about China's real estate sector, which normally accounts for more than a quarter of the country's economic activity. However, the sector has been plagued by construction delays for two years following a wave of bond developer defaults, as well as falling demand. Country Garden reported that its sales in the first nine months of the year were down 44% compared to the same period in 2022, and were down for the sixth month in a row. As the real estate sales situation in the industry remains difficult, the group will face great uncertainty regarding asset sales, and its financial sustainability is expected to remain strained in the short to medium term, the company said in a statement. Country Garden also defaulted on its international bonds in August, triggering a 30-day daily grace period during which it avoided default. The company said on Tuesday that it does not plan to make payments during the relevant grace periods one of which expires next week. Country Garden's fortunes, previously considered more stable than other private developers and supported by the state, now threaten Chinese officials who initially tried to limit the credit burden on developers in 2020. In recent months, Beijing has increased support for the real estate sector and lowered rates, while some cities have also eased policies to curb price increases. But the industry's prospects remain uncertain due to unresolved defaults, the publication adds. A debt restructuring plan for Evergrande, the world's most indebted developer, was scrapped in late September after the company abandoned it and complained about regulatory constraints. Усім дякую за перегляд. Коментуйте новини, ставте лайки, підписуйтесь на канал. Підтримуйте канал фінансово. Деталі в описі до відео. Все буде Україна.